don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up. Greetings, Redheads. Thank you for joining us on another episode of your favorite show, Reds View. We are back, live and in the flesh. We've been out for like a good two and a half weeks or something like that. But we got a special guest to my side, to my left, your right. We got the most uh, high. Is that Jay Smith right here? Appreciate it. Hey, man, thanks for being here. And, of course, you already know this guy. We got the most honorable, legendary DJ PM to my right, your left. You know what I'm saying? And what what are we rocking, fellas? What is this? We got the new Res View t-shirts. That's right. We got the Res View t-shirts. They're available right now on Resview.com. So get get everything from Resview.com. We ain't giving no refunds. We ain't giving no, no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were seriously, oh, it's cool. It got Resview.com on the back. Thank you for the support. And uh, yeah, once you get it, if you order it, just please post a picture of it so we can uh, get these shirts out there. But anyway, it's been a lot. The reason that we haven't been doing a show lately is because there's been so much going on in the world. Stuff that you already know about. Stuff that I've warned you about. <laughs> like I've been talk, I talk about this shit all the time. So it's crazy that's coming to fruition right now. But uh, y'all, let's talk about George Floyd. Okay. The George Floyd. Really? Power. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> for those who don't know, he was a black man who was unarmed, got killed. Same old story by race soldiers uh, from the Minnesota Police Department. And after that transpired, man, riots started, and it's been protests every single day since his death. Uh, so, uh, yeah, anybody want to just chime in on it? What, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, the perf- if there was a such thing as a perfect situation to show the rest of the world what's going on, that would be the perfect, you know, I don't mean perfect in a good way, but right, right. perfect as far as gaining empathy from people who would never care about a black life until now. Right. Mm-hmm. You, you was quarantined, you was at home, you had nothing to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was just so egregious that even racist people had to be like, yo, should nobody get done like that? Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate the sacrifice that was his life. And hopefully this this uh, turns to some real change and not Temporary. just holding up signs saying Black Lives Matter because that right. ain't enough. Yeah. You see, um, speaking of um, like it catapulting him, did you see the video of his uh, daughter with Steven Jackson? When she's like on his shoulders and she's like, my daddy changed the yeah, world. Yeah, changed the world. He That's, really did. Yeah, he yeah. really did. Uh, his death. Now, this is the thing. It's been a lot of people who are unemployed. <clears throat> and we're seeing a lot of white allies, uh, per se, that's mm-hmm. been out there marching. Because I've been to the, uh, a couple of protests myself. So uh, then I've been passing out supplies and all that other stuff. So I've been, you know, peeping the scene and stuff like that. But I would dive in deep into that. But <clears throat> anyway. It's just been, it, it's a lot that has been going on, and right now you're seeing the whole world uh, caring for black people, saying Black Lives Matter. As far as corporations goes, uh, yeah, that's that was that was crazy. Comcast uh, just pledged a hundred million dollars. Seen that? Uh, to to to, that, who? to right. We're not really direct on what it is, <laughs> no. and, and I real I want to say this: we don't need to be distracted, black people, because if they're donating money to us, it needs to be Black Lives. They're saying Black Lives Matter, but... Uh, that's not even ran by a black person. Yeah, no, oh, yeah it's not. Yeah. yeah, Black Lives Matter. You want to speak about it that? It all depends on how deep y'all trying to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's so... It's so much to just say about that. But one thing I want people to not be distracted by is these are these corporations finally speaking up and saying Correct. something, talking about black... I, I looked on Uber Eats, and they said these are some black-owned businesses right. that you can go... For it's, free delivery, I saw that. Yeah, it's like, bro, like, we... Cut, cut the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just want to ask a question. I don't, I don't, because I don't know the answers. Uh, I'm probably not smart enough to know this, but why? I just don't understand why now. You know what I mean? Because like we've been trying to become equal. We've been trying to be seen as humans for the past however many years, centuries. Correct. Right. Why all of a sudden now? Is what I'm was is what I'm skeptical about. Let me get like, my why now? let me get my answer. I'm gonna give your answer. Okay. I'm gonna give one part answer because okay. you're gonna get the other one. So I think the most obvious reason would be this death was so tragic looking. Mm-hmm. Like 
Some people didn't even want to watch the video. This is the first death. Like when Trayvon got killed and when uh, Alton Sterling got killed and uh, what's his name? Walter Scott mm-hmm. and then um, yeah, Eric Garner. Garner. Yeah. When Eric let's Garner got... Our, let's not forget our sisters who were also Yeah, killed. Sandra Bland. Yeah. When those people got killed, um, our brothers and sisters, like Eric Garner, for example, he got choked out. Right. But he was resisting. They could battle that he was resisting. Right. Uh, then Sandra Bland, all of them got shot. And mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you didn't directly see everything, but with this one, it was a slow, torturous death. Right. Mm-hmm. It was a lynching. Like, you looked at it, and, and the sinister look, you hearing him scream, you see that he, and then they were just standing around. So I think it was so sinister in how he died, it made the whole world, like, like even the racists, like George Bush even said, damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it will make racist people be like, damn, that's messed up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Race, I'm going to tell you this to, to the white people who are racist. You're not safe right now. Uh, it's been a lot of y'all getting your asses beat lately. Like and, fi- and fired from them jobs. Fired too. from the job. So, you know, you don't really have the police to protect you because they're kind of occupied right now. So be careful. But what's your So also be a perfect time to rob a bank. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of stuff I'll be thinking about. All right. Man. You better take advantage of right. it. Right. The one time in history you can wear a mask in public. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> But what, what? That's for whoever needs that man. <laughs> <laughs> let let him use it. Right. Yeah. Um, so the thing about this one, it's, it's a lot of stuff we gotta be careful about. And what I always preach on social media: black people don't understand white supremacy. Right. We don't get it all the way. It's hard for us to conceptualize that somebody would put together a system so evil that they would strip you from your your land, right. your your culture, your name, family, your nationality, your family, religion. put mm-hmm. your religion. religion, put all these different uh, sexual things on you that you weren't familiar with beforehand, mm-hmm. and 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 colonize your mind for years and years and generations and generations. Mm-hmm. And because we don't get that, what I want to do is make sure black folk don't get distracted. Right. Yes. We have to look back at history and see what have we done before that worked, what didn't work. We'll see, like, the civil rights movement was cool. Right. But we also ended up losing a lot of our black businesses. Mm-hmm. We had black baseball leagues and mm-hmm. all this other stuff that we lost. Yep. And we just integrated our finances into the system of white supremacy mm-hmm. for a little bit of leniency. Right. Mm-hmm. To be able to work next to white people and shop next to white people and all these things that don't really help build uh, a people back. It mm-hmm. don't make you whole right, right, right. to be able to spend your money at a white restaurant. Correct. Mm-hmm. You we, know, we really just assimilated. That's all yeah. it was. And during segregation, not saying I want to be segregated again, but we had our own hospitals, banks, insurance everything, companies, bro. every single thing. So if we were to get another Tulsa, Oklahoma cracking, we would need to make sure that we are armed, we're strapped and ready, militarized, so the oppressor can't come and burn our shit up right. like they did beforehand. Right. Because they always say, what are we fighting for? It shouldn't be equality because a racist white person is never going to see you as equal. Get it through your head, black people. That's never going to happen. Other races don't look at us as the same. So stop thinking about that and think about independence. When I say independence, I'm not saying that we need to just have our own America. Right. But move how the Asians do, other race race groups, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know. And they don't vote. They don't. Because it don't matter. When you got an economic base. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it, if you look at it like that and stop thinking about equality, now we need to fight for justice. Right. You know what I'm saying? So where these race soldiers would feel repercussions, you know what I'm saying? Whether through death, through prison, you know what I'm saying? They need to feel like if I was to kill your brother right now and he's unarmed, something would happen to me. Absolutely. So that's what it needs to be because the equality thing is out the window. You know, like I, I don't fight for that anymore, but you're going to respect me. And I'm gonna have my shit together, and yeah, that's that's yeah. my thought. About you can't it. change anyone's mind. Yeah, and you can't change nobody's heart. That's not our job to go make people not racist. What you can do is make it illegal to have racist practices. Correct. There you go. But I ain't concerned with people seeing me a certain way. You ain't got to see me as nothing. Right. You can't act on it. Exactly. Right. And that's the main thing, black folks. If you're marching and doing all this stuff to try to think that one day white people are gonna wake up and be like, you know what? What we've been doing for the last 400 years is very, very wrong. <laughs> 400? Damn, yeah. That's just in America. Right. <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, some people really feel like we're going to wake up and then racism is just going to be over one day. Yeah. Not going to happen. Okay. Not going to happen. So, <laughs> and the system is so wise 
like in the in the civil rights movement. Our bad was we was fighting for civil rights for everybody. Right. Yes. Minority Not, people of color, and they say, okay, cool, brown. you get that, and now we get to have all these other groups of people come to the USA and benefit once again off of the backs of the native black people who was already here and the ones who were brought here to do this uh to Man, build this economy don't get me started on right that. so <laughs> get oh. a, and get away from the terms minority people of color and black and brown i've been telling y'all ass this for the last people been making no serious real shit because <laughs> folks make live videos yeah. going in on me for 20 minutes talking about dumb shit when look at the stuff that's happening now even these corporations who are pledging millions of dollars they're not saying specifically to the black community and if they are saying it you got to look deep inside to see what the fuck they're talking about right because they'll say minority I, I saw to fight homophobia to do this i was like a black person a black person got killed right regardless of what sexuality or whatever the fuck it was a black person got killed so the focal point needs to be black people right minorities can be white women minorities can, can be uh hispanic people gay white men gay white men minorities could be anything black 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 so i agree yeah. it's, it's so deep bro because even the this is what's happening Okay. Let's just get to it. <laughs> Let's just get to it. Black people, specifically in America, DNA is doing something funny right now. Okay. Mm. Uh, everything white people have told us has put a barrier in between you and the most high. Okay. Whether it be uh, you got to go to confession and then he going to talk to Jesus and then God going to forgive you or... You want to talk to God, but you can't got to go through Jesus. And Jesus is this white guy, so you got right. to go through him. Or you got, you know, there's always a wall in between you and God. But we, melanated people are the only folk on earth who understand that we are all a part of this great source. We associate God with nature and God with us. So it ain't natural for us to want to kill each other and want to cut down right. trees and want to um, have these big old farms with chickens where we injecting them with... <laughs> Uh, all this steroids, yeah, and, mm-hmm. and cutting their beaks off and making chicken, making the chicken grow from this to this in two days, like that's unnatural. <laughs> and black people, as a whole, historically in their natural state, where they ain't perverted by white supremacy, understand that we are closer to God. It just is what it is. And nobody if, like God more than love God more than black folks. And if there is a chosen people in the Bible who was in a foreign land for four hundred years. That would be us. I, mean, I don't know no other people in a foreign land. If there is a chosen people, that would be us. We are the leaders of humanity. The whole world want to be like African Americans. They doing trap music in Russia. Nigga, they doing trap music in Australia. You I know just what watched I'm a video about it the other day. One of the most racist countries on earth is still following the uh, mothers and fathers of humanity. Yep. So until black people are the spiritual leaders of the whole world, the world going to be messed up again. So all these black, like Black Lives Matter is cool, but you got to understand who gave that to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who really, who's the creators of it and who's actually giving it to you? If you aren't prepared to turn this whole world upside down and let the people closest to God lead y'all in the right direction and black folks got to figure out who they are, go talk to your grandma. Ask your grandma about your family. Most black folk don't know who their grandpa- who their great grandparents were. I agree. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I, I went home and I did some history and I got elders to talk on my cell phone and give me their family history. So grandma, who was your daddy? Right. Now who was his daddy? Now tell them about them, man. Every one of them gonna tell you eventually. Well, yeah, and then so on. So then your grandma, yeah, well, she was a Cherokee. Yeah. And so oh really? So most black folk don't know that most of the black folk in America was here already before slavery. Yeah, exactly. The slave ships getting, it's 40 million niggas in America. <laughs> right. They ain't all come on no boat. Ain't no nah, way. We was definitely blending. Ain't no way. You feel me? <laughs> Native Americans is not, they're not Indians. They just don't want to tell you that they are black people that were already here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, because the narrative needs to be that y'all, this is not y'all's land. All y'all came all from All of y'all place. came from somewhere yeah. else. But anyway. And that's why they told us we came from somewhere else. So we got this whole lost Lost children of Israel. Yeah. My, we don't even know. Like, what is your land? Yep. I ain't saying Africans didn't come over here, but it wasn't. It wasn't a lot. And white folks know this. They know you don't know it. They know you, the children of Israel. You, the Native Americans. You, the Moors. You, the original people. 
and until the world go back that way, the world gonna be in chaos. That's why all these presidents having sex with children, selling kids, eating babies and putting them in their spaghetti and pizza. <laughs> you think that's real? Yeah. The eating babies part though? Definitely. For real? For real. That's the only part I'm like, I don't know about that now. It's called spirit cooking. Yeah. And that's the last thing I'm gonna say. Cause it, <laughs> Cause we don't want them to take us off there. Right. Check this out. So there are some cancel celebs that have uh, came about. It's funny because the cancel <laughs> cancel culture is live and in effect. Yes, a couple of people we just gonna talk about: Tokyo Jets, yeah. Trina, mm -hmm. Blueface, okay, Lil Wayne, okay, uh, Terry Crews. I okay. just saw him say some stuff. Yeah. Uh, who else? It's these. See, the thing is, the most ridiculous one that I heard. Is Blueface walking up to a, a clerk or something like that and say, "Hey, can I get that George Floyd discount?" Like, hmm. it's hold on, wait, what? Yes, Blueface said that George Floyd discount. Uh, Tokyo what, Jets. What the fuck does that even mean? I, though? I, I guess since everything is going on right now, I, oh, like can he get it for free? Yeah, because people looting. Yeah, oh, okay. and yeah, it's a lot of looting going on. Hey, then, good job, Blueface. Yeah, then Tokyo Jets said, had. Uh, somebody in the head like I said, I'm about to George Floyd your ass. Mm, like, that's awful. Like, bro, y'all celebs are showing the fuck out. I mean, because they benefit from systematic white supremacy. Yes. And white supremacy puts black people in certain places to lull the other black folk to sleep. Your time is up. Mm. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> the app tried to tell you. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> that's real, though. So a lot of y'all and Lil Wayne, I expect Lil Wayne to I be on some. Lil you Wayne know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lil so, Wayne been talking like that for the last. White well, fucker ain't never did that. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> white man saved my life. <laughs> right. Not a black man. A white man was right. there. So anyway, so let's talk about some political hip hop tracks that you probably need to be listening to uh, during this movement. All right. Um, okay. You got any top ones that you like? Uh, my favorite one is probably one y'all not gonna say is right. "We Gonna Make It" by Rick Ross. You ever heard that? No. Okay, it's about um, the riots and stuff like that that was going on in Baltimore. Oh, okay. when they killed um, uh, who was that? oh uh, Freddie Freddie uh, Freddie Gray? Gray? Yeah, 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 yeah. He wrote a song called "We Gonna Make It." It's on his uh, Black Market. Black Market album. Yeah, I think that's okay. what it was called. But yeah, that's my favorite. One. That's your favorite? It is. Out of all of them? Yep. I got a couple. Yep. I like The Message by uh, Grandmaster Grandmaster yep. Flash and the Furious Five. Okay. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. That's cool. Uh, cool. <laughs> Don't cool. push me. Cause yeah, it's cool. Close to wow. the edge. edge. I mean, I know the song, guys. Okay. Let's try to act like I was on the song. Fuck the Police by N.W.A. <laughs> Classic. Man, those streams have been quadrupling. Yeah, that's uh, Because if you go downtown right now to any protest, you're going to hear that blasting out of people's cars. Okay. Uh, I like I'm Black by Styles P. I don't that, know if I heard that one. Yeah, that was a... He tried to push... Digging, it. Digging, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that, he tried to push that as a single when he was on Interscope, but... uh. I guess they didn't want to back it or oh, something I like that. Why. But it, it, they put <laughs> right exactly. So that was a good one. I looked that up. Young Black and Gifted by J Red. Yeah, I do like that one too. Actually, yeah, you um, heard it. Yeah, you heard it. You like it? <laughs> pretty good song. Pretty man. good song, man. I appreciate it. Uh, also, Complexion by Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, uh, I love that. And pretty much Kendrick Lamar's whole to Pepper to Butterfly. Pepper Butterfly. Yeah, I was gonna say that after so, you finished. So we're gonna. We're, so th this is the segue. Do you have any political track you like? Uh, I think we're gonna be all right. Is a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah. and that's gonna go dive into yeah. to Pepper Butterfly. Yeah, to Pepper Butterfly. Me and Smooth were having a conversation about this, uh, like last week or something like that, or a few days ago. And he said that if the Pepper Butterfly would have came out this year, uh -huh. it would have been way more accepted than it did uh, back when it came out in 2015. Facts. Uh, I always said that, like even uh, when Trump got in office, because mm -hmm. what was that, 2016? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, because he put out Damn that following year. But I felt like if Damn would have came out in 2015 mm -hmm. as being the follow up to uh, Good Kid, Mad City, right? And then To Pepper Butterfly came out during Trump's administration and his presidency, then I think that it would have been way more accepted. I think because so too. people were calling Kendrick Lamar and different celebs out for not saying nothing. And Peter Rosenberg was like, This motherfucker made a whole album talking about this right. whole situation years ago. And if you gotta say nothing else, no, he now, already did. Let me say something about that too, man. I I feel like 
we as black people have to realize that different people protest or fight the system in different ways. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar, when does Kendrick Lamar ever just come out and talk? And say anything. So why would you expect him to do that now? Like, that's not what he does. That's not who he is. He's he he's not T.I. Yeah. That's what T.I. does. That's what Killer, Killer Mike, Mike does. Yeah. That's what... David Banner does. Correct. That's what they do. That's mm-hmm. because that's what they was called to do. I mean, like, you have different people who do different things. Like, you, of course, you had Dr. King writing these great speeches because he was a great orator. But you didn't see all the lawyers and stuff that was behind Dr. King. Correct. You didn't see the person... That was like doing the bookkeeping for Dr. King. You didn't see the person that was making sure Dr. King had a hotel booked for the cities that he was traveling to. Mm-hmm. Like you didn't see the ladies that was in the c- kitchen cooking mm-hmm. so that Dr. King them had somewhere to eat after mm-hmm. he spoke. Like it takes a team effort. So everybody's not gonna come out and be like, "Oh, this that, and the third. And some people are probably afraid that they're not educated enough on the subject and don't want to say the wrong thing. Absolutely, and they not, shouldn't. If they, and they shouldn't. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. Not that Kendrick is, but I'm just saying like certain people are. Because I I see people criticizing people like Kaepernick, and they're like, "Oh, Kaepernick isn't doing enough. He hasn't said anything." And I'm like, I'm like, y'all niggas don't want a real change. Y'all want a show. Right. This man lost his job. His whole yeah. career over there. He put his career on the line. He put his career on the line. Like, what more do you want from this and man? And then another thing is, why are y'all so relying on celebrities? Not saying that. Facts. That part. It's, it's like, bro, the music industry is ran by white people. Come on, man. Uh, the film industry, white people. Like. So any industry, any industry is ran by <laughs> white people. So I don't expect those celebrities. Now, if you do say something, shout out to you. I will be more so criticizing people like David Banner, who makes that type of music right. or T.I. that makes this type of music now to actually say something. But I'm not expecting somebody like uh, Chris Brown to actually say Come something. On, man. I was surprised that Drake said something. Me too. Because I'm like, all barely this stuff. Said barely. Yeah. But he gave some money, I he think. He did give some money, which is cool too. Yeah, shout out to you yeah, for doing that. Yeah, because I mean, because it takes money. Like, like the celebrities that's donating to like, um, bailing out people that's yeah, getting arrested that's for dope. protesting. Yeah. Like, that's dope. Yeah. We need that. Mm-hmm. I don't need Cardi B out here speaking for me. Really right. don't. Please don't, Cardi. Cardi B put up a million to bail people that's out of jail. Appreciate it. Offset put up a million. Migos put up a million. What like it reminds me of that Dave Chappelle joke. Y'all ever seen that? What what did he say? Where um they it was like some political unrest or something, and they was like, Yeah, and Ja Rule says yeah. that such and yeah, such. Yeah, yeah. And Dave Chappelle was like, Ja Rule. Yeah, like, who the fuck care what Ja Rule right. thinking in a time like this? Black people have a problem with always having celebrities be our political standpoint. Man, why? Like we we always do that. They're we, entertainers. Yeah. Entertain we, me. We have been Conditioned to look for leadership outside of ourselves. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing I said, bro. Man, I can talk about this forever, man. Yeah. And I don't want to hold up too much more time yeah. about it. But I agree one hundred percent with what you just said. And if you're benefiting from systematic white supremacy, which rapping about killing your own people and and and, and uh, right. disrespecting your own women, women, yeah, is funded by right. I don't really expect you to say much. As a matter of fact, you should stand down for Just a minute. Just put your yeah. money up. Put your money up. Put your money where your heart is. And, and, and going back into the shadows. Right. I don't need no like Lil Wayne coming out saying, Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Chill out, y'all. Like, it's, it's really not, you know. And then I saw a thing where Snoop said this is going to be the first time he ever voted. Yeah. I was like, look, y'all. He ain't had to say that. He could have just been, been just, quiet. Just be quiet, man. We don't, we don't really need all that, man. So I don't expect that. And why do historically we always look for celebrities to speak for us, which is a problem because we always look at Diddy to say something. White people don't look at celebrities to no. do to speak up about white issues. You know what I'm saying? We don't need a leader. We don't. Every leader we get gets murdered. Gets murdered. Right. We need a mindset and a code. Yeah. You can't kill that. You can teach that to your children. They can teach that to their children. Right. Who the white leader? Yep. Who's the Asian leader? They doing quite well. Who's the Asian leader? Uh, 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 what's the boy that played for the Knicks? Right, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy Lin. <laughs> Maybe have an Asian. Uh, uh Tim- Timothy Delaghetto from uh, right, Wild It Out. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we don't need no person. <laughs> Which leads me to since we're already talking about celebrities, Kanye West. Okay. Is Kanye West the coon? Yes. Is he still a coon? Yes. Uh, because mm-hmm. why people, wouldn't he? Because he put some money up. Yeah, that's what people have been saying. Donald Trump gave money to HBCUs. Is he for us now? Right. 
ass. Like money, my I just dog, put this out for for people who dog, love him. Kanye West is a billionaire. He put up how much money? Probably like two million. Two okay. million. Yeah. What's that to him? Exactly. Yeah. What's two million dollars to a billionaire? People feel like he was infiltrating. And you know, yeah, working right. on the inside, yeah, all right. that shit. Yeah, no, yeah, all right. mm-hmm. so 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 Kanye was the spook that sat by the door. That's, That's what, what you're telling said. me. That's but he wasn't sitting by the door. He was going inside, laying in the bed <laughs> with the the make a make a yeah. bat. Yeah, talking like, about Donald Trump, my daddy. Man, <laughs> he Bruh. did say that, did he? Yeah, he said that for real. Yeah, oh, wow. You know, you like a like a father to me. Can can I hug you? So he did all that to give two million people two million that, dollars to people. Let's go back to protests real quick. Go, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. Let it out. Going down there hugging on white women is not how you fight racism. No. Brothers. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, though. But but that's not how you fight that racism. Ain't, what are you doing, bro? You just If you just try and get some, some cat, just say that. Some boy trying to get that uh, protest pussy. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but There's some fine women at the protest. But let's not <laughs> pretend you're doing you hugging on white women for, for racial reconciliation. Because that ain't it. And these white women holding up big black dildos talking about all this big dick energy and this, that, and the third. Like, you're also fetish, uh, you know, making mm-hmm. a fetish out of... That's it. Yeah, and that's out it. Out of my pain. Yeah. Yeah. We just some big dicks to you? That's the, uh, that's that's basically, the, that's the extent of my which is, value. Which is still looking at somebody as less than a human because you see them as a sexual as toy. As a sexual toy. Right. Sex lady. You can look at me that way, though, if you want to. Oh, man. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm just joking, bro. Terry, y'all saw what Terry Crews said. I just, I I Terry Crews. Terry Crews <laughs> has to be the biggest sambo <laughs> that I've seen. Terry Crews just put out a wonderful movie, man. You should watch it. Oh, oh. that movie so bad. <laughs> we I talked like about 15 it. Minutes, I was like, I don't know if I can do this no more. Right. That shit was oh terrible. my god, it's terrible. It gave man. me a headache. It was so. It was oh so. It was god, so horrible, man. It so was, I'm not surprised he said something like that. Have y'all seen the trap on Netflix with? Uh, yeah, yeah. He talked about, talk about the. I said that. I said the exact same thing. That's the worst move I've ever seen in my life. I said the exact same oh, thing. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. This minute just said. Did you see? I got the hook up too. I did not see that. Oh, okay. it's worse. It's way worse than the trap. trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. That movie right there. Yeah. I love me. You know I love. Master P hurt me so bad. Have y'all seen Master P out here? At us, I man. hate to talk down on P, man. I feel like P got a good heart, man. I yeah, do too. But P puts out the worst products I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And then be like, hey, man, you know, black people got to support black people. Uh, I ain't supporting that bullshit, bro. The noodles are good, though, right? The I still ain't had them yet. Yeah. This a manyati right here. This this pure Italian leather. Man, please. You hear me? Yeah. Like, no, you, you said the shoe was trash, ain't it? Trash. Come on, man. If them shoes, and if they was pure Italian leather, they'd be a lot more than $250. I can tell you that. Yeah. Because Gucci is Italian leather. and Yeah. Mm-mm. So let's let's talk. It's a it's a uh, gentleman, D Smoke. Y'all are familiar yeah, with Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he got a song called uh, Black Habits uh, that I saw. Yeah. Uh, I saw the video for it. And it's real dope. Um, And it just made me talk about him. I think he's a dope artist. He just sounds so much like Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Uh, I think that hinders him. Do you know yeah. that, Um, fun fact, him and Sir, Sir are brother. brothers? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. that brother. But that yeah. makes sense. But I, I just wanted to give him a shout out. Yeah, uh, that Because that, that song is dope. Bro. Yeah. Black, uh, Black Habits. Shout out to D-Smoke. Uh, yeah, so. You know, he won on. Uh, uh, that Netflix show. Coming Hip Hop yeah. something. something. Yeah. I didn't watch, you watch it all the way. Nah, I never Neither watched it. I can't get into shows like that. Not on Netflix. I could Because they're packaging up Hip Hop. To yeah. he's a little, you know, them little cake pops. Yeah, yeah. you don't want a whole slice of cake. You get your little cake pops. Yeah. Right. You get the little taste. Yeah, and a nice little package that anyone can consume. Yeah, yeah. nah, I, I couldn't do. It. Yeah, I couldn't do it either. All right, so uh, some entertainment that's been happening lately. Um, Michael Jordan's The Last Dance documentary was out. Yeah, dope. Uh, that Very was dope. dope. That was pretty dope. Very well done. Yeah, the best thing to happen to ESPN because I know they ratings is in the toilet. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. yeah, it's been trash. Um, Shout out to them though because they. They found a way to talk about something with no sports wow. every day. Yeah, they like Michael Jordan and LeBron James. <laughs> it's like yo, they ain't even playing right now. Right. Yeah. So but, shout out to them because that's hard to do. It yeah. is. And shout out to WWE and all these wrestling because you know wrestling hadn't stopped. Yeah. Since uh, they, they, they just doing it with no people, right? Yeah, but what yeah. they're doing is getting some of the wrestlers to act as people. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or just to be in the audience. So gotcha. they've been trying to make it work. Gotcha. Which makes me talk about under uh, the Undertaker's Last Ride documentary for my wrestling fans that's out there. If y'all like Michael Jordan's Last Dance, this Undertaker one is pretty dope too. Okay. Uh, How yeah. long is it? Uh, it's, it's right now. It's three episodes. Oh, okay. okay. I, it's more. Oh, it's, than that. it's coming out like. Yeah. Oh, okay. The same yeah, way. Same way. Oh, dope. Yeah, but it's dope. Um, yeah. because 
He hasn't ever broken character because he always has to have that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, gimmick. But you get to see everything that he goes through and how old he is. And it's like, Nick, why you, the fuck do you keep wrestling? And he got to be like 60 now, right? No, no, no. He's, he's 50, like 54. Nah, I don't believe that. Dead serious. No, no, no. When I was 10, he had to at least be 30. Nah, he's 55. We just, we, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 55. Right. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about mm-hmm. right. But yeah. He old as hell. Yeah, he about sixty to still be wrestling. <laughs> about, about, about 70, but you know, <laughs> but you know, wrestlers go for a long time. Nah, they do uh, Pause. because uh, <laughs> 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 you gotta pause that. Dog. Oh Come on, man. Meek Mill had a new single that's out. Fire. You like it? Fire. I, we just heard it. Other before. side of America. You don't like it? It's eh. cool. Boy, y'all hate. It's eh. cool. I like the beginning. The beginning. What truck talking? Yeah. Because it, it was a good segue into the song. That was about it. I feel like the song wasn't really... It didn't really do nothing for They me. like Trump talking spark. These guys might be Republican. No. No, I'll just... I'll just no, okay, I'm about just to say That's start, right? Yeah, there. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it start. Right. It's just like... <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Hey, hey, you cannot joke with people like that right now. Right, man. Exactly. Because, Hey, man, I'm not gonna, this ain't got nothing to do with the show, but long story short, me and my partners was talking about uh, protesting and the NFL players that's all joining in and stuff. And I was like, all them people that was at Drew Brees' neck didn't say nothing when they was ostracizing Kaepernick. So I don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. And my homeboy called me an Uncle Tom. And I told him, the next time I see you, I'm going to punch you in your face. And I was dead serious. We was in a group chat. And then he tried to call me and apologize. And I was like, bro, don't. I was like, don't uh, apologize in private for something you did in public. If you want to apologize, you need to text me in this group. And apologize the same way you did in front of everybody, and then he did it, and we was now we cool again. Cool. But I, I wasn't I'm still playing. punch him in the face. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I, I was dead serious. Like, dead don't serious. call me that, bro. That's yeah. like spitting in my face. Like yeah. we, I will fight you. So, certain people get called coons, and yeah, but they deserve it. Yeah, yeah like, mm-hmm. like don't. I know where I stand. Don't call me. That. Yeah, yeah. To me, if you call me a coon, that's call me a bitch. Yeah. Me. I mean, that's like spitting in it's my worse. face. Spitting, it's yeah. worse. It's worse. It's really worse. It's, yeah. it's really like spitting in my face. Cause yeah. yeah, a whole ass nigga be a whole ass nigga, but right. a coon is selling out his own people. Right. And that's below. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's that's ridiculous. But uh, yeah. And then <clears throat> Snoop. Not that this is relevant, but Snoop Dogg was talking about possibly battling Lil Wayne in the versus. I've seen that. Yeah. Um. I, I can't say I'll be interested in that. I don't know if Snoop versus Lil Wayne is a good line. It's not really a good line of going back. Wayne needs to only battle somebody like Drake or Jay Z. Yeah. A- and or I, I don't know if anybody are we just, else. Are we discrediting Snoop a little bit? Hell no. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay. I'm just saying Snoop his music. Snoop like, music is just different from, from Wayne. Wayne. I would like to see Snoop battle more of like a Jay Z. Yeah. I like to see Snoop versus Snoop Jay-Z. would get him. Get Jay Z hits, yeah. Get Jay Z, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think hits wise, yeah, absolutely. See, it's debatable. I ain't saying Jay Z. No, 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 no. Jay Z is yeah. a better rapper. That's but, undoubtedly. But hits wise, because yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. Because you could do a party I, with Snoop. You, you do could. a whole Snoop set. Yeah, but you could do a whole Jay Z set for. But again, it would be for people that <laughs> like Jay Z right. music. Right. But see, my biggest thing is, I would be the worst judge for a Jay Z battle. Because I don't like none of Jay Z radio yeah, he songs. Don't, he don't like his mm. hit I don't record. like none of his hit records. Yeah. You like the, the he B- like the I like B sides. The, the, like the only like I don't like like change clothes. Show me what you got. Like I don't like none of them shit. He didn't like Hard Night Life. Hard Night Life was trash to me. It was it was a uh, it was a formula. I, I don't like none of them records though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, H to the Izzo, and that might be his oh, biggest man. record ever. Yeah. Uh, Empire State of Mind. Yeah. I, I, I don't like I don't like none of them records. Yeah. No. None but of them. Any song that focus on New York too much, I'd be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we get but it. Now, Snoop will probably get them. But like I said, no, no. Wayne, Snoop and Wayne's music just, no, I don't they see don't, that. Yeah. yeah. It's not interesting to see the battle. No. Like, you know how Teddy Riley and Babyface, yeah. they make some of the same records. So yeah. that was interesting. But anyway, um, yeah, y'all, that's pretty much what we're going to cover for today. Uh, we're Like I said, we're back in full effect. If you haven't already... Not only can you get these Redview t-shirts uh, from Redview.com, boom, right? But you can also subscribe to YouTube.com slash WeAuthenticNetwork. Because if you really, really subscribe, if you subscribe and support the show, you'll cop one of these t-shirts. And, Facts. Uh, man, because these are fly, man. Shoot. Facts. You, gonna, you know what I'm saying? You like your shirts? I like it, man. Feels yeah, good. That's nice, man. We just take it on the road. Uh-huh. <laughs>
Say it about the trunk. Say it about the trunk. Right. right. And uh, Mike Jones in them way, huh? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Where we follow Ooh. you? Yo, check me out at is that J Smith I S T H A T J A Y Smith. All social media. Also on YouTube, is that J Smith? You looking out for something very, very soon for me, boy. All right. Where do we follow you? At T H E E D J P N. That's it. That's it. At J A Y R three D. You already know where to follow me at. Again, Resview.com. Get these shirts. This is J Red, D J P M, J Smith, and we are signing out. Don't give up. You gon' be on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, give up, give up. I know you got doubts, but get to the bag. Just follow the dream and stick with the plan. I know you get worried. Know you get scared.